To myself. Well, it was tension yesterday in UK. In fact, uh, the whole of UK felt the presence of Whiskey and David O being in one of their club. Everywhere was shaking. <laughs> shaking like this. <laughs> when uh, Whiskey and David O decided to cross eye, like so they look each other like this. They look each other like this. Look at each other like this. I see they one fire. Big men they fight. I saw Whiskey sit down they look the video from across the bar. The video just they look whiskey like if I just stand up now, just slap this midget. Why whiskey just sit down for the other side? Look, I just they look. Man, if I just stand up now, go woes this daddy's boy slap. <laughs> but nothing happened though. What happened was that. We know there's a real tension between David Doe and Whiskey. Now they don't like each other. Nobody the way they like each other last thing, now they like each other now. The tension is much. I don't know how they found themselves in the same uh, event club yesterday. You know, club is open to everybody. So, but I don't know how they found themselves uh, yesterday in the same club. David Doe was sitting across. Whiskey was also sitting across with his gang. David Doe had this whole long table set with friends. And the uh, Whiskey, this table set wasn't really shown, but he was on top of somewhere, on another place, with his uh, gangs and friends. Like, I know for sure. They both knew that they were there because at, at a time, Whiskey stood up while he was going and passed by David Doe like this. Like this. Whiskey for dog carry slap. Boom for the guy head. You know, so that we go see fire. But then again, if some of you were expecting uh, expecting another thing apart from people just uh, uh, apart from uh, uh, two rich young men fighting themselves, uh, uh, you must be joking. Nothing would have happened. Usually when you see uh, two uh, rich friends fighting, uh, it's not usually them. It's usually the friends, the damn friends who are just the form say, ah, and I wanna they try my guy and all those kind of things. It's not usually the artists, it's not usually the friends who, who, who do the fight. Even in politics, it's not usually politicians who do the fight. I, they, they have political talks who do the fighting for them. You understand? They are the ones that do the fighting. So it's not the main men who actually do the fighting. So, one thing should tell you, once you are close to a very well-known artist, may you still respect yourself too, so that they don't go use you, go catch blue. It was all nice, the tension was strong, but I know they were able to compose themselves very, very, very well. They composed themselves, everybody came there individually with their group, so they ate, they enjoyed, and they left. What were you guys even were expecting? Made their come fight. Two big boys. Made them stand up because they beat themselves. They throw bottles. No, now. You don't go expect them now. Gone are all those days. If now, USA rapper now, you know, USA real talks uh, beef. Something, something, something for happen. I have made it clear severally that Nigeria, Afro beat beef, and on social media. Now there the hand put. Nobody want to cut his skin for anybody. Afrobeat beat uh, beef ends on social media. Evil girls, evil beef fight more than the Afrobeat men. Like Tiwa Savage and uh, 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 Shei she, who almost fought at the saloon. You understand? They are even way more uh, way more eager to fight than the men. The men are just relaxed. They know the fight. And I like it. We don't want to introduce the other part to, our, to Afrobeat, where people start fighting themselves, you know, gun violence and the rest. No, we don't want that at all. So the beef ending on social media is still very, very favorable to us. Honestly, 
is very, very favorable to us. We, we should keep encouraging it. Yes, so we should keep encouraging beef on social media. If not, if it goes out of hand, it's going to affect, turn to another different stop. So there is a need. We should keep encouraging social media beef. Because it just ends there. You see, whiskey that David do, after all the beefing, after all the talk, whiskey talk, David don't able to respond. And David don't see whiskey. David don't able to stand or go land whiskey's lap. And whiskey don't able to stand or go land David do's lap for the disrespect. Nothing. They came to their expensive place, eat food, chill. I bet you, eh, if any David do's friend had stood up, to go and meet their whiskey and start talking to whiskey anyhow, David Doe will stop hanging up with that person. And also, if whiskey friend has stood up from that chair and go over to that David Doe to talk anyhow, whiskey will stop talking to that person because that trouble you define. This is an establishment, a private establishment. You know just the fight for there. If you get your money, you chill and live there. So social media beef, guys, is still very, very encouraging. Very, very encouraging. We don't want to be like the Americans. We don't want to be like the South Africans. You understand? It'd be like, say, before you know it, boom, for your back of your head. Or maybe you're just walking down the street or in the club. Before you know it, some group of guys with a uh, with, 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 uh, weapon will just come with you now. Pa, 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 pa. No, we don't want that. Too. We don't want that. The B for social media is still really, really good. It's good for the business. It's good for the entertainment. It's good for you and I to talk. So let it just end there. Make it just end there. Don't, don't, don't ask. Don't ask for something more. You know, don't wish for something more. Don't ask for something crazy. Nah. We don't do crazy in Afrobeat. We don't do crazy in Afrobeat. What we do is party. Jolly. That is what our music is all about. And talking about party, whiskey just dropped Morayo. He just dropped Morayo. The party has already officially begun. And uh, since then, for 16 hours now, the song has GI about uh, close to 700 or something million views on YouTube alone. So hopefully, before 24 hours, it's going to get a slightly more than 1 million views. So people are still viewing. You know, I love the video. The video is so well done come on man the video is rich it's rich the video is well done and rich and the lyrics are fine as well you know big up to him and his collab everything was so nice on that video honestly man you got a piece of my heart well i think i would prefer the other music in that album than that particular piece of my art. I think I'll prefer all that music because I, 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 I saw the preview of all those songs there. Eh? I can't wait to be do. So I think I'll prefer them, honestly. And uh, let's move past that. Let's talk about this case. You know, I was talking about why it's good that Afrobeat beef needs to hand on social media. There is a need for Afrobeat beef. Don't wish for something more. Don't wish for something crazy as a fan that, oh, they're for fight now. No, no, no go there at all. No go there at all. Check out this news. A man become, became friends. A man became friends with a mother of two in order to seek revenge on a baby daddy for killing his brother. During a video call with the baby daddy, he slapped his ass son and then by the woman. You understand? This guy here, a man killed this guy's brother. And this guy went on to do some research and find out that that man that killed his brother has a baby mama. Two kids. Women now being um, 
The woman, the guy, go toast the woman. The woman agree. He can't knock, 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 knock the woman. Knock, knock the woman finish. He can't uh, do okay. One day, he call the guy. Say, see, I did your baby mama house. Say, you buy my brother, be. See what I will do to your family now. He first slap, slap the... Slap, slap, beat the, uh, beat the guy, Peking. After I beat the guy, Peking finish. Now he face the baby mama. Beat time, use knife. My am. There was a time, hmm, real gangsters do not include families. They don't include wives. They don't include baby mama in their beef. They don't include family. They don't include children. But nowadays, people, eh, young guys with crazy brain, eh, they don't understand. They don't understand the life of their pinky blinders. They don't understand the life of their Tony Matana as a den, when they know they include family. They don't try it. Family is, is beyond limits. You don't go there. But now, guys, they don't have no single orientation. People with just crazy brain does it think nothing at all. They kill what is killable. That is why I have no single respect for all those young gangsters. They don't come outside now. They don't have. They don't have. As a man, you must have limits. You must have limits. And those older days, they get limits. Nah, those people no get. Everybody, crazy people, just the young people, no get limits. They can do whatever they want to do. You know? So, thank you guys for watching the boy Gadam Sling. Catch you next time. Peace.